Hello College Biology. This is a nucleic acid video. It's just going to be an introduction, so it's going to be pretty short. Let's begin. Nucleic acids are uh, important because they determine the order of amino acids that ribosomes use when making protein. This little cartoon is a depiction of DNA, which is uh, one of the polymers of nucleic acids in the nucleus, and RNA, which is made in the nucleus by copying DNA. That uh, RNA will leave the nucleus and interact with the ribosome. It'll help attract the amino acids to the ribosome, so the ribosome can use the correct amino acids to make the polypeptide, to fold into the correct protein, to perform the correct function, so that the cell can live and the organism can thrive and flourish. So this is why um, Nucleic acids are important. They determine the fates of protein, but determine what the proteins are going to be made of. Now, you may be familiar with, or at least aware of, uh, amino acids, uh, I'm sorry, nucleic acids before. DNA is a pretty famous molecule. We see its famous double helix shape, and we see RNA as a single strand, kind of wavy over here. Uh, but, you know, these this ribbon and these bars, we know it doesn't actually look like that. These are the polymers of nucleic acid. And if we have polymers, that means they are made of monomers. So the molecular understanding of these polymers has to come from understanding their monomers. So we can uh, take a look at that. The monomers of nucleic acids are uh, nucleotides depicted right here. And you can kind of see uh, on the left here that they get connected together to make the DNA or the RNA polymer. So this is the connection of the nucleotides over here. Now, if you take a look at the elements there, there is no sulfur. So the nucleotides contain all of the elements of life except for sulfur. And that means the polymers, DNA and RNA, also, because they're made of the nucleotides, do not have sulfur. We can also take a look at uh, the types of bonds that are made. <laughs> uh, oxygen and carbon. Uh, oxygen is a high electronegative atom. Nitrogen is a high electronegative atom. Carbon is a moderate electronegative atom. So anytime oxygen and, nitro uh, oxygen and carbon or nitrogen and carbon interact with each other, they're going to make partial charges. Uh, when they bond with each other. Uh, and so all of the oxygen is going to be partial negative, all of the nitrogen is going to be positive negative, and all of the carbon that are linked with them are going to be partial positive. So there's going to be a ton of partial charges in your nucleotides. And also the phosphate has negative charges. So that makes uh, the nucleotides very, very polar, which makes the polymers very, very polar because they're made of the same material. So let's review this introduction. Nucleic acids determine the order of amino acids ribosomes use to make polypeptides. The polymers of nucleic acids are DNA and RNA. The monomers of nucleic acids are nucleotides. The nucleic acids are macromolecules containing all elements of life except for sulfur, and the nucleic acids are very polar. They contain many partial charges uh, and ionic negative charges. Uh, I hope this helps. Struggle well.